Regarding agents, it does feel almost like we're trying to drive a 16-wheeler with loosely screwed tires, right? Do you think we're anywhere close to having powerful agent use cases that are actually accurate and, and reliable? I don't claim it's easy, but I do claim it's doable. And I do claim it's valuable as hell. We released a magic analysis, which is a sort of like step-by-step -step process to generate an entire notebook from a single question. It works step by step. It produces a number of cells. It is at its infant stage. What it generates tends to be on the shorter side, intentionally so. And what it generates is mostly focused on one question, but we are expanding that to understand more and more about what you've already done. And those work through agent chains and agent pipelines. I talk about this as being a control plane sometimes. There is what you need to develop as a control plane for all of your agents and all of your agents serve as like microservices for doing things connected to your application stack. They could be simple things like go and do this very deterministic thing. They could be more complex things like go and ask an LLM to generate this kind of response. All in all though, I think where we found challenge, but also eventually success was in building that control plane first and really iterating on what that control plane needed to look like. Our first version, our second version, our third version, they did not work. They were nonsense, they were shitty. We have made a lot of improvements and now they actually work, but it was not a first three tries type of thing. That being said, I do think that this is the direction that we will go. And I think it's also a borderline trite to say that the secret here is tight interfaces. The more and more that you can constrain those handoffs and think in the classic composability framework from machine learning, the more that we've had success. This is not something that I didn't know when I was starting on agent stuff. It's just something that you still have to swim around in the dark until you bump into the walls. And yeah, we've gotten there, but man, it is taking a lot of evenings and weekends to really poke at some of these dark spaces. Yeah, and is the expectation there that the constraints that you've added right now will expand over time as the technology evolves? Yes, it will also expand as we have more time for experimentation and have more time to just test the limit. As an example, if currently we can generate chart cells, code cells, SQL cells, markdown cells, great. But what about filter cells? And what about pivot cells? And what about all the other important features that Hex brings to the table? A great magic analysis agent-based system leverages Hex with all his power, not just some of his power. 